what is going on people of YouTube, my name is Mikoyo, welcome back to another FPL video, and a bit different, my PC is, fingers crossed, okay, uh, but we are back with another episode of the FPL season, it looks a lot different because I'm not recording on my laptop, which actually itself has problems, plugged in, not charging, not good, I have to take out the battery, got to learn a bit about that, so, hmm. Hopefully my PC is okay until then. If not, then you'll see no videos. But, alas, we are here with my FPL season now. Um, oh, it doesn't say, but my points total was not good for last week. If we're going to go into that. Um, by the way, how do you like the layout? I quite like the layout. Um, I've done okay with it. There might be a few issues with the first episode, so let me know. This is my team. It got 36 points. Um, the worst thing about it... Um, is the fact I had, you know, Eric Peters on the bench. Six points, could have put him in for Amat. And Amat got zero. Amat got zero. Coutinho is my captain. All it needed was Aguero to be my captain, and that average points total would have been hit, because I could have got another 12 onto that, uh, taking away the one I got from Coutinho. I'd have been above it. Also, Amat going out. I had the points there, just didn't really utilise it very well. But that's, that made some big changes. I mean, Coutinho's out for like six to seven weeks, I believe. Um, hopefully, that doesn't. that's probably going to be an awkward position, isn't it? Oh, well. Um, Coutinho is out until January the 14th. That's not good. So I got him out of my team. That's one of my transfers because he has been flocked out. He has been, I don't know how, um, you know, so many people are bringing him out, but they are. And, you know, look at his price, 8.5. Um, I allowed him to drop 0.1 million because I had him at 8.5. I brought him in at 8.5, I believe, and he went up to 8.8. .8. Um, which means even if he dropped 0.1, I'd still have the uh, you know the extra 0.1 million for bringing him in and having the point. Yeah, it works on my head. Leagues, I went down and everything. Not as good. The results were quite surprising. There were clean sheets where I didn't expect them. I thought that would be 5-2 in that one. I thought there would be, you know, clean sheet. Of, uh, clean sheet the wrong way around, really, uh, for that one. Also, explains it right, Peter's on the bench. But, uh, we're going to move on to how my team looks now. And you'll be able to see there have been a few changes. Okay. Peter's on the starting line, and there's no change in defence. The defence is fine. Amat is playing again, um, which is quite a surprise. I mean, I didn't really expect him to start playing again, but I think, you know, he might be... I mean, 5-4 is not too good, but um, next fixture's coming up. We've got a decent few games coming up with them, um, but I've made a few changes anyway. Um, Phillips, I believe, was in from last week, but players coming out. Lukaku left because he was dropping in price. Obviously, Coutinho left as well. And uh, Ilkay Gundogan was the last one because he's not being played in the Premier League. Whether that's just a temporary thing, I was going to lose money on him. I gained point one, so positive is a positive. But bringing in, oddly, poor week to bring him in. But Sir Goodson and Leroy Feld, I both think they're going to jump up in price. And Charlie Austin. Now, I've been wanting to get rid of my front three for quite a while. Uh, because I had Aguero, Costa and Lukaku. And that took so much of my budget into the attacking line, I could not, you know... Probably, I could not really fund other areas, and as a matter of fact, I do have um, 4.5 in the bank, so that's all good. Um, if you look at, <laughs> let's have a look, um, how many people have transferred out Coutinho? It's almost 500,000 people, and looking at how many people brought him in, that's almost a quarter of his, you know, of the quarter of that of people that had him. For this game, almost 2 million people had him. He was the most owned player. Obviously, not anymore. I mean, he was just above Aguero. If you have a look at um, team selected by percentage, he's still up there at 37%. He was just above Aguero. I think he's on 46%, so that's insane. Um, but, yeah, my team is looking okay. I mean, Sigurdsson came in for Coutinho. I believe the first two changes I made was Austin came out and I bought, um, you know, for, for Lukaku. Austin came in for Lukaku, Sigurdsson came in, um, I believe, and so I think I brought Sigurdsson in last because I didn't, or kept Coutinho, Fur came in, I kept that because I'm wanting to maybe ditch Sigurdsson for Sanchez, which I have enough money for, or ditch Fur for someone like Mane, which I have enough money for. So it's all about when and where I choose to play. I can allow Mane to go up a bit more, um, but because he's you know, going to be out. And also Liverpool's fixtures, they're... They're not too good for the next few um, games. I'm going to look to see, because um, I really should have brought Mane in now, um, thinking about it. But the fixtures for Swansea are really good. And I think if they can play like that and defend a bit better, they could really be a force we reckoned with. But, again, they were playing against a shocking Palace side. But my team for next week, I've already lined it out. Uh, I've already lined it out. I don't believe Heaton's going to play, but Stoke 
at the moment, they're not the best in the attack. I could probably see a nil nil. I mean, the, the own goal was the, you know the only goal in their game against Watford. Uh, but I'm for now opting for Foster. Um, I might in the end just in fact I might do that now because I'm pretty sure he can get a clean sheet and uh, Watford. You know, sometimes you get a good game, sometimes you get a bad game. But at the moment, Igalo and Dinium is firing, so that's obviously good for us FPL players, or at least people that are coming up against uh, Watford players. If you own them, then not so good. Back four, um, Walker is not going to be my captain. I haven't changed that properly. But Walker is in there. Um, he's definitely going to be in there. Hopefully, they can dispel Swansea, and if not, he can attack, because they are, you know, at the moment, poor in the defence. Peters, because I do think they could be a clean sheet against Burnley. Um, in the last two games, they've... Been, you know, smashed 4 0 by West Brom, which is the last away game, and then home just a wonder strike was the only goal they scored. So, I feel like I've got a good chance of getting a clean sheet in that one. And hopefully, Butland will be back for Stoke. Koscielny against West Ham because yeah, I don't really want to play Amat against Tottenham. And uh, for the moment, Alonso's in there. I'm unsure if I want to bring Kapua in or not, but uh, you know, I might bring him in for Alonso because I do think Man City will score. If Spurs can score, and you know, bearing in mind Man City are at home as well, I do think Man City will score. But Alonso can get forward and get those attacking points from goals and assists and bonus points and all like that. The midfield three, I think it pretty much you know, explains itself. I can't really risk to play Fur and Sigurdsson in the same team. Sigurdsson, I think, will definitely play Fur, maybe not so much. And also, Sigurdsson's playing a lot further forward, almost like a false nine um, at the moment. Maybe Urente will come in, maybe they'll play you know, you know, him and Urente up front, which is could be good for us FBL players because Sanchez is a midfielder that plays in striker. That's why I'm a bit interested in him. Uh, but Phillips comes in because I feel like the West Brom, they could score. Well, they're looking good um, at the attack. I mean, they were shocking against Hull, but good against Burnley. So I do think Phillips is a difference maker because I want to get his use of him before he even faces Chelsea, then Man United, then Arsenal and Southampton. But for then they go on to a long, easy run. But also he's the sort of player that could make a difference in those games. Finally settling down, hopefully. And Hazard, because he is absolutely majestic. And the front three again explains itself. Costa and Aguero coming up against each other. But I feel like they both could score. Austin uh, was a player I brought in. And away against Crystal Palace. I mean, if Palace concede five against Swansea, who knows what Southampton will do to them. Bring them not even at full strength. I'm pretty sure Southampton team, they're without Tadic. Um, last weekend, and they did, you know, well, they won 1-0, you know, did about all right. Um, Tadic, yeah, is injured. No, it's not that much, actually. I was expecting more people injured, but um, Austin, I think, is definitely... I was going to go. He did bundle it in um, at the weekend, and he did really, really well to score. Uh, but, you know, we're looking at it, and I think uh, I'm having a good chance of having a good game week. My captain's choice, I'm not too sure, um, to be honest, because I thought I did change it, but um, it's, uh, it is on Walker. I might... Just have to go with Charlie Austin at the moment. I'm going to keep um, Hazard vice captain because he did. He had a bad game week against uh, against Spurs for points uh, for at least game wise. But he was you know alive in the game. He was you know playing all right. It wasn't happening for him goal or assist wise. But Austin's always good bear. Um, I think Hazard could really break down the very nervous looking Man City defense, albeit without stones anymore. Um, you know, hopefully Hazard, you know, if, if he's called upon as captain, can do the business. But what do you think about my team? Do you think I've made the right choices? Do you think, as in, players like Heaton um, for Kapue and Amat should really stay on the bench? I think I did put Heaton in there and forgot to change it. And what would you change about my team? Let me know in the comments down below and who, let's say, I've got a free transfer again next week or would you take some bonus points to change things around? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching and let me know about your teams because as I said in the preview, from now I'm going to be replying to a lot more comments. I've got a lot more time and I've got something very special starting tomorrow as well as the differentials and captaincy choices on the two other days of this week. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. My name's been Kurt Yo, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. I feel like I just nicked that intro from some or outro from someone, but yeah, either way, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed, and peace.